today I'm going to show you how to make this cool text uh, effect. It has got some stuff going on and I place texture on it and sh shadow, drop shadow I mean and all that so just <laughs> go to file new and make a new image. I will use this resolution and click OK. Now take paint bucket tool, black color and click on the image. Make a new layer for the text. Uh, choose yellow color or maybe any you want. So I just used yellow because it, it fits very well on this image. So now choose text tool, uh, any font, hand drawn like style, something like that, with big size and write something. Now if you want you can just place it somewhere or you can go to effects align object and align it to center. Now duplicate this layer so, so you will have two text layers. Go to the second one and merge down. So you have got text on the black color and text on separate layer. So now duplicate the background layer and now the fun part I guess. So go to effects, distort, jitter and angle 0, spacing 0 with 1, minimum distance 0 and maximum distance will depend on the image. So 23 for now. Don't go too much, just by a bit, uh, but not too less <laughs> of course. Edge behavior, just choose any uh, which uh, will save your black background, like so. And you can check analyzing. Look okay. Now it's too sharp, so I don't know why it's too sharp. Just go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, choose a radius one. Click OK. Uh, go to effects, distort, jitter, and click OK. So you will use jitter like three, four times, and uh, with blur in between. So Gaussian blur again. And uh, one more time, the jitter and click OK. Same settings of course. Let me use once again, so blur, Gaussian blur, OK. And jitter needs to be last, so you will have kind of a bit sharp uh, thing going on, so just use jitter last in the repeat process of this. Yeah, so now we have got this cool thing going on and just turn off this layer visibility and you'll be on the second, I mean on the bottom layer which has the same thing, just doesn't have this fancy wind looking thing. So yeah, go on the bottom layer by turning off the middle layer visibility and repeat same thing but vertically. So just go to effects, distort jitter and just choose angle 90. Like so. Again, effects blur is Gaussian blur. OK. Effects distort jitter. Blur. And jitter. And I guess I need one more, so effects blurs. And jitter the last again. Don't use blur as the last step in this repeat process. So now you will have something like this. Now turn on middle layer visibility and go to its properties by double clicking on it and change its blending mode to additive or something that will do this. <laughs> now go to text layer which is the top one and just make your text white. So you have at least three options for this. You can go to adjustments, brightness, contrast, maximize everything like so. You can go to adjustments, curves and do this. And you can go to adjustments levels and do this. Just make it white, <laughs> like so. And just add glow effects. So go to effects, photo glow, 
default settings should work fine and click OK. Now uh, let's add a drop shadow to it. Just nice and not heavy so effects um, object, outline object and choose something similar to this so with 2, softness maximum, color black, angle minus something angled and uh, yeah click OK and now we need to repeat glow effect on the lines so go to background layer or the second layer and go to effects photo glow bam and if you want you can leave it as it is or you can repeat glow on second layer like so now go to image flatten uh, import uh, texture so I'll just drag and drop it and click open now ctrl A to select all or go to edit select all then copy this button and go to your image and ctrl shift V or edit paste into new layer and keep its canvas size now the select if you need you can just adjust resize or something just place on top and change this to anything which will be good so color burn on this thing or overlay any of these uh, works on my image with my texture uh, I mean not my texture it's someone's but that's just what I <laughs> used so uh, I think overlay looks better and uh, yeah, overall result is uh, awesome. Hope you like, uh, hope you learned something from me and uh, I see you in a few minutes or something. Sorry I didn't place the video on Monday. Uh, that's because I have a lot of uh, stuff to do on, on, in university and by freelancing. Uh, so yeah, today you will get two videos. This is the first video and uh, you can check out the second video. Yeah. Final result. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye.